Hello everyone and welcome back. Today is Thursday, so I deemed this day as the day that we speak about relationships. If you have any questions about certain relationships, I would love to hear what they are. Kind of give me the scenario that you're speaking of so I don't go off on too many different tangents about you know, what I think you may be implying about certain things and then that way we can kind of talk more specifically about certain things that you want to discuss. So I got a question recently and I think that this is going to be a great conversation starter, especially with the time of year that we're in right now with the holidays coming around the corner. And I look forward to discussing that with you and then also the little thing that made my day today. And I hope that all of you will join in the conversation and also just share something wonderful, beautiful, anything that happened to you today or yesterday. And if you are new, I want to welcome you. And also I would hope that you would subscribe if you like the content that you see here. And please give this video a thumbs up. I want to thank all of my patrons. I don't thank all of you enough for your support of this channel because I really don't participate in any, subs uh, what do you call that? <laughs> I don't even remember what it's called. Um, oh, what is it called? Where, you know, someone else pays for the video. I don't, I don't do that. Anyway, I don't have people that pay for the videos except for my loyal patrons who pretty much help make these videos possible because like many YouTubers on here, this really doesn't pay very well, not for the majority of us. So um, to show up every day and to keep these videos coming, to put in the work and the effort, I am just so thankful that my patrons are willing to help support. Plus all of my patrons get a little bit extra for going the extra mile in that way. So I just want to thank all of my patrons for your continued support. Now let's get into the question that I recently received, which is from Laura. She said, the holidays are coming. Do you have any advice, tips on how to deal with not so nice family members besides a whole lot of Jesus? I have struggles in this area and it is challenging and tips or advice would be greatly appreciated. Laura, I think so many of us can relate to the struggle of coming together as a family and maybe there are family members that are a little bit more difficult than others. I know that within my own family, you know, there, there are always different personalities and it can be hard to either get along with some or you just don't look forward to being around others. And I really think that that is like that within any family that you speak of. The idea is that those of us that are aware of that we want to learn how to better deal with all of the different personalities. And this even goes into the workplace. A person who can deal with and you know get along with many different personalities, this is a desirable employee, but also just a desirable family member, right? We all can admire the family member that seems to be able to get along with anybody and have a good relationship with all of the different people in the family. Now, with that being said, I don't think that that person that you may be looking up to so much really enjoys everybody's personality as it may appear, but just they understand how to be able to let some things go. They may not take some things so personally or, you know, they just have a more peaceful demeanor about them and it's as if that is the goal that we would, you know, by still keeping our personalities, we still want to be able to be at peace with everyone. And that's really, to me, a Bible principle about living peaceably. As much as depends on you, live peaceably with all men. So I try to implement this in my life in every aspect, really. But I can understand that some things are beyond your control. I've talked about this before in past videos, even with friends. And one of the things that I think is so difficult is when we see different people around us, um, whether that is family members or friends or just 
people in general and um, the relationship doesn't seem to be very good. And a lot of us, those of us especially who are people pleasers or we just want there to be absolutely no conflict, it can be almost as if we go above and beyond to try to mend a relationship or try to have good relationships around us. So when it comes to uh, those that are not so nice, you know, just realize that it's only for a short time maybe if this is the only time that you see some of those family members is around the holidays. Um, one of the things that I struggled with was trying to either cut certain people out who just weren't very nice or who caused issues within the family and kind of making it to where they're not going to be involved in the family gathering. But the bad part about that is that then you can hurt other people's feelings. You don't want somebody to feel as if you're doing that, right? Especially if you care about this person a lot. You don't want them to feel isolated. You don't want them to feel as if you don't care about them. And so finding that balance is really, really difficult. And um, for the most part, to me, it's just about, you know, looking on the bright side of things and sometimes these people could be hard to get along with but just know that it's not going to last forever at least your interactions with each other so that's what i try to do is just make the most of the time that you are together i read this article today from the reader's digest and um, it kind of i don't know if it exactly covered the topic that um, we're discussing here, but um, she was talking about uh, Quiet the Family Complainer was the article by Lisa Fields. And one of the things that she talked about in there, and I, I, in the beginning of the video, I asked more about like specifics because sometimes it can be hard to know exactly what you mean by, um, you know, somebody who's just not so nice. Like in what way are they not so nice? Do you not enjoy being around them because they complain about a lot of things. Do they pick on you a lot? Do they, um, you know, are they just not very nice in how they ask for things? Or so I don't know. I kind of have just a broad idea of what you're speaking of. But this article stood out to me today. Um, it was talking about quiet the family complainer. So many of us come in contact with family that um, around this time or even just on a daily basis it could be where all their conversation is when you talk to them is about the aches and pains they're having the um, bad news or just anything there there's always something to complain about and it could seem like the entirety of your conversation is just negative and this can bring people down and most of us when we leave a conversation or we leave um, the presence of somebody we want to feel good we want to feel uplifted like you know our energy has been restored and when we have those kind of relationships we just feel so good about them and you look forward to seeing that person again and so it makes it a little bit harder to feel that way around people who are very negative or that are not very nice right and um and the ones that do stand out are the ones that are really happy and bubbly and and maybe um ask you more about yourself than complaining about their life and you know there's just a wide variety of things so i look forward in future videos discussing specifics about you know what kind of relationships because i'm pretty sure that most of us have encountered all of these different things and all of us are struggling in one form or another with all of these different kind of personalities and different um different struggles that we have with different things that come up so i love to talk about these kind of things because it helps us to just learn how to better deal with people in our lives i mean we ourselves are not even perfect and i'm sure there's something somebody in my family is complaining about right now about me you know or or just doesn't like as much about me and my personality and so um while we're not trying to change people um, just learning how to better get along with one another and um, make life 
more beautiful for one another, I guess, is kind of the goal for me. So anyway, one of the ideas in here, this lady was talking about going to see her mother and how um, the first 20 to 30 minutes were so negative because all she spoke about were just all of these negative things. And so one of the things that she did to deal with this situation was she just basically was blunt about how this is how she is and it makes it very unenjoyable for her to be around her. And I love when you can just be completely open and honest with somebody, but knowing your audience and reading the room is very important. You need to be able to know what kind of people you can speak to in this way because not everybody is like this. And um, her mother, of course, said, no, that's not true. But because she was very open and wanted her daughter to feel you know, good about being around her, they came up with this thing about that she would take notes about what kind of things she spoke about. And whenever she would write, start writing you know, the things that she complained about, instead of her saying, oh, you're complaining, what happened was the mother would catch herself and you know, she would just uh, kind of phase out whatever it was that she was talking about. But it was a really great way to deal with this kind of issue that her daughter brought to her attention. So I thought that that was really interesting, finding um, really good ways to deal with these different situations that we have are always fun and you know we're all learning here and so when we can have that kind of open openness with one another um, I think it's always so wonderful such a blessing but you know it's not always that way so Laura when you speak about you know um, with the holidays coming it makes me think that these family members that you're speaking of, you don't see very often. I think a lot of us have that. Now, right now, within this you know, pandemic that we're in, a lot of people are not getting together for the holidays. This is going to be a very, very different year for many of us. Some of our traditions are changing. Um, I think being very understanding, especially given the current climate and that some people are a little bit more um, you know concerned about different things than other people we all have to respect one another and how we feel so figuring out how you're going to do things within your own family that's something that the whole family has to figure out I think together and also it's up to us to be very understanding but say you are getting together with some family this year um, if a family member is just not very nice, maybe just, you know, not really reacting to the person and finding somebody else to maybe speak with and that is pleasant, I think could be um, a good way to just help keep your spirits up in that situation because I have been in situations, even within family situations, where you know, you get together with some people that you don't see very often and maybe they just have a poor attitude or um, you don't agree with the kind of things that they're speaking about and it can be hard and sometimes things can be directed at you that can really hurt. And of course, a lot of us just want to react right away. We want to snap back with something else and um, sometimes just holding your tongue is just the best thing and then you know, thinking about it, dealing with it on your own without saying something that you're going to end up regretting. So to me, it really is about keeping Jesus in your in the forefront of your mind. I think that, um, you know, the first thing that you said about having um, a whole lot of Jesus, I think that that really is the answer to everything. But, um, you know, he held his tongue. When people were mean to him, when people even lied about him, he held his tongue. And who are we to think that we are any greater than him? And um, really that's the way that when I stop and think about something like that, that it's almost as if there's nothing to complain about, right? Because, I mean, he was treated far worse than we ever could even imagine. And we know that, you know, he had the truth and, and he was perfect in all ways. So anyway, um, 
that's my two cents, but I would definitely love to hear what all of you think about this subject. If this is something that you, I don't know, does it give you a little bit of anxiety thinking about getting together with family and what kind of things you experience around this time of year, even if you aren't going to be getting together with family this year um, or extended family. I would love to know, and what kind of struggles do you actually have? I would love more specifics, I think, or what kind of scenario would be great to talk about in future videos, um, or even if it's not family related, maybe friend related, because your questions are really helping to inspire me in this time right now. And I just want to thank all of you for being here. And, you know, those of you who come on every day or even if it's just a topic that interests you and you're not interested in all the topics I'm discussing, that's completely fine with me too. Um, but this is something that I have really been enjoying because I feel for so long I've, I've just tried to come up with things to do, but just listening to all of you and the kind of questions that you're having is helping me in a time where my mind is in so many other directions because of what's going on with me in my life right now. So thank you so much for being here. And a little thing that made my day today was that when I went shopping yesterday on my errand day, I, you know, went to Trader Joe's and found some roses, of course, which these are the roses and I'll try to, whenever I get new roses, I will also try to include them in the shots here. But um, then I had to go to Smith's as one of my errands to get some stuff and um, in the flower section, there were some irises and I have never seen irises anywhere in in town here except for where my Grammy planted them at her old house on the walk on the path up to her door and I had painted a picture of that home not long after they moved into the house that they're in now and I think they lived in that house for 42 years the one they moved from and that move really stressed my Grammy out um, it was just it was horrible to her and I think even to this day they regret moving because they love that place so much but they wanted a one story because that other one was a two story and um, anyway I painted a picture for my Grammy and I remembered to keep the irises in there that was really important to keep those in there because it's something that I remember so vividly about you know walking up to her door and I saw those in the store and um, I, oh, my laundry machine's doing weird things. Um, anyway, I put those in a vase today when I went over to her house and she just expressed how much she loved them today. And that just, and then she wanted to know who got those for her. And I told her that I did. And she just said, oh, they are so beautiful. Like I, I hadn't seen her perk up like that in a while. So that just made my day and I know that those are just bringing her so much joy just the color it's like she can't do much right now and there's just not very much stimulation for her and you know she can't see she can't read because she can't see and um, she just sees very blurry and then she can't hear so figuring out different things that she can do is difficult but one of the things that um, I know she just loves still are flowers she always loves flowers and all different kinds of flowers so um, the irises just made me think of her immediately and she loved them and so that was just the best thing today so far so anyway I would love to know what little thing made your day today I also wanted to share this little hairstyle that I did one of you mentioned in the comments about doing this hairstyle which I'm not even going to try to pronounce how to say this, but I also didn't look up how to say it, and I should. Um, but this is something that was mentioned. If you know what this hairstyle is, please leave it in the comments below. But I just thought that maybe I'll start sharing how I'm doing my hair. So this is basically, you just flip it over like a topsy tail. I have a little topsy tail tool, and you put you put your hair in a ponytail and then you, um, you know, put the little pick through and bring it around. So I brought this around about um, two times and then just kind of use bobby pins to stick the extra in. So that's how I did my hair today. And then of course just 
curled this just a little bit little wispies around and one of the things that I also wanted to mention if you have thin hair one of the things that I think looks great with thinner finer hair is very dainty jewelry because it doesn't compete and I think that that is something that may be helpful for you if you're trying to figure out what kind of jewelry would look good on you finding something that doesn't compete so much with the fact that maybe your hair is close to your head is um, dainty jewelry does wonders so anyway thank you so much for being here again I look forward to sharing tomorrow's video with you and I'm really excited about these different topics my camera cut me off because I'm speaking too long um, I'm really excited about these different subjects that I'm going to be sharing with you tomorrow is all about wardrobe so um, i'm going to continue on with my leading lady wardrobe and answer some of your questions that you have i think that's what i've gotten the most questions about is wardrobe so i look forward to fridays and then possibly i will start making videos on saturday as well so um, maybe not every saturday but i would still like to uh, do something a little creative on saturdays and because of a lot of questions that I got about painting and writing, that is going to be the day that I'll focus on that if I bring that out. So anyway, I love that you guys are here and that you are part of this conversation. And I look forward to all of the things that you write. It's one of my favorite times of the day. Of all the little things, I love reading your, your comments because you inspire me. So until tomorrow, have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you then. Bye, everyone.